what up ninja clan and welcome back to my youtube channel i am as always your host the atomic ninja g and today we are continuing our adventure in the land of hyrule in zelda tears of the kingdom so yesterday we were catapulted up through the skyview tower uh it was a lot a lot less scary <laughs> uh, than i thought it was going to be and now we're going to go talk to pura and uh, hopefully get sent on our huh? way Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So, how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? <laughs> good. That map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You want to make a point of visiting them all. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been occurring in in uh, Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. There we go. Let's take a look at your map. Okay. The first report comes from Herba to the northwest. Uh, next is Eldin in the northeast. The Grido are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Lenaru in the east. Huh, isn't that convenient? These strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Yes. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Uh -huh. Hey, Doc. I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village in Herbert recently. Hmm. Ah. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much uh, stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. <gasps> oh, and before I forget, Link... Uh, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in our search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she can help out in some way too. Mm -hmm. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone, somewhere, might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule, Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. One way or another, we're gonna find her. We're gonna get her, get her, get her, get her. Okay, I gotta find goggles. What are you talking about? Sorry, can't talk now. There's something I gotta discuss with Goggles right away about our research into the chasms. Let's talk later. Okay. Um, so. Let's talk options. So now. I mean, I. Okay, so really, it's sending me here. The game kind of is sending me here. To go see the Rito, I remember this very, very well. I also, I wonder what happened to the Divine Beasts. Are they still there? Uh, this labyrinth is still here. Okay. Uh, the lizard tail thing, that's still here. A lot of the landmarks I remember. Oh, the Lost Woods. Where were they? I think they were like up here somewhere. Maybe down here. This place, I'm pretty sure, is the place maybe with the big temple, the protected temple of the guardians in it. Um, yes, yeah, so I wonder what happened to all the divine beasties. I'm sure we'll find out in the course of the game. So the game wants us to go here. However, the game is not forcing me to go here, right? I have options. I can go wherever I want to go. So right now, oh, that's horrible uh we're gonna go here uh because there's a shrine there and i know that much um and then 
I remember seeing the things from the sky over here. I might go investigate that. And then we'll go investigate this and head over to Rito Village. So we're going to head down for this green blob here, which is that shrine over there. And um, hopefully find a horse along the way, which will be very, very useful. Because uh, I think we need one. It's going to cut down on a lot of travel time. So yeah. And the ability to make carts and stuff like that. That might be quite cool as well. Can I just... Nope, he's on the horse. I can't take that one, I guess. Uh, so there's a tower there. So very much like Breath of the Wild, this is, or seeming to be, a very open world game. Like, the game is going to suggest things and places for me to go and do. But it very much seems like I can kind of do whatever I want to do. Uh, in any order I want to, like, so for example, oh, hello, <laughs> of course it did, um, no, let's use the big pointy stick, <laughs> so you kill these guys the same way you used to, which is just by killing the heads, and they should just drop a bunch of stuff, including arms, and fangs fantasmic. Um, I don't want the arms. I don't need those, but thanks for the offer. Um, so, for example, if I wanted to, I could just go straight to the Zora village, or I could go to Death Mountain, or whatever. Um, I can't say I'm looking forward to becoming Boiler Man again. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what Boiler Man is, you need to check out my last um, playthrough. In Breath of the Wild. Alright, so there's a shrine like right there. Right next door to that tower. That shrine is much closer, so we'll go there. It is very nice to have a paraglider again. Not gonna lie. Uh, I am going to come over here and beat these with a giant stick. Boom. There we go. Collect a bunch of their stuff. If nothing else, we can sell it later for some money. A dazzle fruit. A fruit charged with a powerful light. Break it to unleash dazzling sparks that blind any monsters nearby. Now, in Breath of the Wild, I did not care that much. That looks like... Oh, what's this? Does this hurt me? Oh, yes it does. Ow. N no, traveller, don't do it. If you touch that, well... It'll zap your strength and you'll end up like me, too sluggish to move. Yowzers. Okay. Um, let's go talk to this guy. Uh, what was I saying? Does anyone remember? <laughs> Pretty sure it's something to do with Breath of the Wild. I don't remember what I was saying. Sorry, guys. Uh, are you feeling okay? Folks are calling this stuff gloom. If you care about your health, it's best not to go near it. If you get any on you, you'll start losing your strength, like it's zapping your life away. Hmm. I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths, and now look at me. You'll recover from the worst of it on your own, little by little, so long as you're on the surface. But while you're in the depths, you won't recover at all. I thought I was going to die down there. Sigh, some investigation leader I turned out to be. This is just pitiful. I'm completely reliant on Duval, so I really want to recover by morning. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming the guy hanging over the ledger is Duval. So let's go chat to Duval. And if he doesn't want to talk, we could just push him off. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, buddy, what's the big idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing over the edge of a chasm. For one thing, a nasty accident like that would surely halt the research here. Yep. Chasm investigation is super important right now for the Zonai survey team. If even one researcher had to stop, Joshua, who's hard at work on plans over at Lookout Landing, would cry. Not okay. You know the giant holes that showed up after the upheaval? 
there are lots of them just like this one all over the world. You can't see the bottom. They're so deep, so filled with mystery. We must continue our research for the sake of our dear Joshua. I mean, we know who Joshua is. Oh. See that tower over there? That's where you'll find our base of operations and, incidentally, Joshua. Oh, also, don't startle me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. Uh, yep, yeah, fair enough. Soz. Not soz. <laughs> uh, well, while you guys are looking over there and feeling awful, I'm just going to sneak around you, open this up, and um, get me an orb. Or at least, I hopefully, I'm going to get myself an orb. Okay, here we go. It's on the edge of the map here. Uh, no idea how many shrines there are. Uh, swimming cold water would lower your body heat. Oh, that's what I was saying. Um, in Breath of the Wild, uh, it didn't bother me so much how much uh, fruits and veg and all that kind of stuff that I collected because it didn't really matter so much. In this one, they do stuff. Uh, so I'm going to have to pay attention to what they do. Um, because some of them set fire to things and some of them do other bits and bobs too. Okay, so... I'm going to have to pick this up. And slot it through there. Okay. Uh, is there anything else to slot or do? No, I think that's it for that room. Okie dokie. Uh, no, it's it's not actually glued on. It's proper stuck on. Okay, so... Uh, no, that way. No, that way. That way. No. Ah! So how exactly? Oh, can I just climb up on it? <laughs> oh, you know what? Do you know what? Let's just do that. Thanks. Ah, yeah. Okie dokie. Multiple shapes, multiple ways to do multiple things. Let's go in this room. So that's where the blessing thing is. Can I not go up there? No, okay. <laughs> nope. So do I have to make some sort of staircase, I guess? Maybe? Uh, yeah, maybe. What does that one do? Oh. That would just taste with the map. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, right. Nope. Try again. Go. Slot that through there. And then. Now try again. Uh-huh. Okay. Go up here, grab this chest. This stick is really annoying me. <laughs> uh, but I'm pretty sure it said... Oh, hasty elixir. Awesome. A mid-level haste effect for four minutes. That's nice. Uh, makes me faster. Um, I do remember it saying that if I unstick the weapons, it'll destroy one of them. So, uh, right, this is going to be the tricky one. Is that the shape I want? No, I need to. Um... <laughs> Guys, I can't work out what shape I want. 
Is it this ship? Come on. Yes. Oh, I oh. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I thought I was going to get crushed. <laughs> uh, right. So. That way? Ah, too far. I kind of want that to slot in there, really. Um, but I think I can work with that. That should be fine. I have to say, this ability is amazing. There we go. The Ascend ability is genuinely one of the most fun things about this game. It's incredible. Just, just awesome. Okay, so we have two now, I think. Yep, we got two. Another two, and we can get another heart container. Or we could get stamina. It's very early game. I think I like. One thing I liked about Breath of the Wild was having the two wheels of stamina. Uh, I guess I could have had loads, loads more than that, but two wheels for me, I thought, was quite nice, was quite um, acceptable. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, these bad guys. They might be bad guys. So I'm going to head over to this thing, which is this big Zonai um, drawing thing that was on the ground, if you guys remember. Uh, yes. There are some Bocklands. Let's go and take these guys on. Let's get rid of this stick. Well, not get rid of it, but let's just change it. Oh, it looks like a guardian sword. That's cool. Oh, there's a lot more of these things than I thought there were. Okay. This might not end very well. Is that a pig horse? No, it's an actual Bokken. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, they've got fire arrows. That's what you're trying to tell me? Are there barrels in here? Remember, in Breath of the Wild. Here we go. You're going to get a lot of this, guys. In Breath of the Wild. In Breath of the Wild. In Breath of the Wild. Uh, they had lots of barrels and stuff. So, let's attach a material. Oh, I can blind them. Or I can set fire to them. Let's set fire to them. Huh. I wonder if that's just the game's way of being like, yeah, you should totally go up somewhere. Let's use one of these, because this would blind them. So I can rush in <laughs> with zero stamina. Ah, back and slash. No, oh, jump backwards! Jump backwards! No, run! Run! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so let me see. Do I have any food? Yes. Oh, I do. I have loads. Okay, cool. Uh, let's use that. And then while we're here, let's change to this. Come on. Oh, did my sword break? Seriously? We both got the same idea. Come on. There we go. Cool. What may be our first uh, camp defeated. At least I assume defeated. Traveller's Claymore. Awesome. Uh, anything else? We'll pick up a bunch of these, please. 
You like fire fruit? Because they will help us. Lighters. I probably should check the area before I start opening chests. Moblin sledge. Long stick fashion. Yeah, let's drop this. Oh, what else we got? Amber. Nice. Is still there. So we haven't quite defeated the whole thing yet. Oh. oh. Uh oh. Come on. Is he down? Yep. And there's a guy over there. Oh, there's horses. Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, do I see? Oh, come on. Oh, let's just use this. Smack you in the face. Aha. There we go. You die on. Good, good, good. Okay, I think that's all I've done this time. Right, where do those horses go to? Alright, we're going to run over to these fireberries, grab these fireberries, and then hopefully follow those horses. Ah, man, they're going to get away. I'm not quiet enough, and they are too fast. Come on. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Any mini mini horse. I think I want the one that's not moving right now. When it's back to me. I think that's the one I want. Horsey, the one that I want. That is oh yeah, it's like Black Beauty. Horse. Come on. Come on. Alright. Good horse. Shh, there we go. Come on. Come on. It's okay. Yes! Good horse. Alright, now, first things first. Map. See if we can remember how to drive one of these things. Oh, it's four speed! Yes! Good horse, come on. Come on. Okay. We're gonna need an. Oh, I haven't got any rupees. Oh, no! I don't know if I can register the horse because I haven't got any rupees. Okay, we're gonna have to ride it in, sell some stuff to that woman. Come on. And just make 20 rupees really quick. Um. At least, I don't know, I'm assuming I need to get rupees now to sell this, uh, to, to register the horse. Um, in Breath of the Wild, which I'm pretty sure will be the same in this one, it costs 20 rupees to register a horse. Uh, so, I think we're going to have to pay it if we want to keep the horse, which we do. Uh, 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 come on. Good horse. <laughs> we just killed a bird by accident. Good horse. And we're getting a name for the horse as well. 
Alright, so we won't go there yet. Come on. Good horse. Uh, this way, come on. Okay, and then... We wander up this way. Stop the horse. Talk. Hey, welcome. There we go. Uh, I want you to buy my stuff. Uh, I will sell you all of them for 21. Yes, excellent. Uh, that's all I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go. Goodbye. All right. Now let's head back over here. Get registered. Uh -uh. Go. Good horse. No, no, no. Jump on. <laughs> All right. Pull back. Oh, wrong one. There we go. I'm sorry. If you want to register a horse, you'll have to wait a while longer. We're still setting up around here. If you register a wild horse as your own, you can call that horse to you at a stable wherever you please. At bigger roadside stables, not only can you register a horse, but you can also stay the night. We didn't have room to build something that fancy here, but I did want a place I could take care of horses properly. Which is why Carson from the Hudson Construction is planning to build us a mini stable. Once it's finished, you'll be able to register a board and take out horses just as you would a normal stable. Oh, come on. I used to work for the Rito stable in Herba. Had a good job taking care of horses, but the cold kept get, but the cold kept getting colder and business got slower. In time, we had to close. Last I heard, the place had been bought out by the Lucky Clover Gazette. Just when I was feeling adrift, Pura reached out to me about managing the horses here at Look Up Landing. And before I knew it, I was here. Here I was. Uh, be sure to bundle up if you're going to Herbert. The cold over there gets intense. So I can't register my horse. <sighs> that is thoroughly irritating. Okay. Well, never mind. So, guys, I am going to head over to that double point over there where I have got the pads down where we were kind of going anyway um, I'm going to travel there on my new horse try to think of a name for this thing in case we come across a stable and if anything cool happens I'll bring you guys back in and if it doesn't I will meet you when I get there um, so a tree just decided to attack me uh, I didn't even have time to turn off my camera when a tree decided to attack me. It's a tree. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. You wanna? You wanna? You wanna? You wanna fight? You wanna play? You wanna go for this? Yeah. That's what I thought. And my horse has run away. Oh, do you know what? Might actually be a better weapon for this. Uh, where's that axe? There we go. Uh, and let's eat something. <laughs> I think my horse ran away. That do. Okay, just got attacked by a tree. Because, you know, sturdy, thick stick. Take the wood. And my horse has actually gone. Oh, nope, there it is. It's fine. Alright. Maybe village ruins. Ah, uh, no, no, come here. Thank you. Alright. 
Now I'm going to head for the markers and I'll bring you back oh. in if I see anything cool. Apart from trees just popping up to nowhere. And welcome back, guys. So I saw a shrine and in good breath of the wild um, tradition, there is a shrine right next door to a stable. So, Riverside Stable. Oh, is it Beetle? It's Beetle! <laughs> awesome! Uh, no, let's talk. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Hmm, it seems you're not a member yet. Our stable uses a stable association's membership system. So you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask for your name? Oh. Link. All right, Mr. Link. There. You're all signed up. Now, would you like me to tell you about the stable system? I already know. Is that so? Well then, once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse, bring it here. You can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. Now, how can I help you? Register a horse. Oh. Understood. What you... Huh? According to our books, you entrusted a horse to us once before. <gasps> I'll just go ahead and register any horse that had your name on it. Come talk to me later if you want to take them out. What? Uh, yeah, I would like to register this. Have you got my horses from the last game? Shut the front door! Uh, we've got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your first horse for free. Oh, well then, I'll move on to the registration process. First, please enter the name of your horse. Um, hmm, name of my horse is going to be, Raven, done, alright, so this is Raven, say hi everyone to Raven, our first horse that we have caught in this game, however, uh, I'd like to board the horse, now, Raven is a four, um... Oh. Your horse is safe with us, thanks for using stable weight. What am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. What? Oh. That's right. It's a reward system you can use at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. Okay. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Not only are we celebrating your first use of Riverside Stable, but you've also registered a horse. So, you get two pony points. Okay. Awesome. Oh. Save up po points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. You can trade your pony point surprises at the larger counter or ledger counter over here. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. Okay, mm. I will. Come back again anytime. I'll check out what this pony point. This is new. Pony point ledger is placed here. Receive reward. Oh. Uh, you'd like to get your pony points reward, right? If you save up just one more point, oh. you'll receive a towing harness. Oh, very useful item. You can use it to hook up your horse to various things. We appreciate your patronage. Let's read the ledger. See what... Uh, does it tell me what I get for rewards? This book contains useful member information for those who have registered with the Stable Association. Uh, which entry would you like to... Uh, points and rewards. Your pony points information. You need one point to receive the towing harness. Remember, you can also check your Pony Points card to see how many points are needed for rewards. Okay. About Pony Points. The Stable Association has a point system to reward members every time they use Stable Services. You can collect points in a variety of ways like staying at the inns and registering horses at Stables. Never mind. Uh, do nothing. Okay, so... I mean, if I stay oh. here, do I get a point? Because it was free, right? 20 rupees, regular bed. Mm. Uh, when would you like to be woken up? In the morning. Oh. Why not? Sleep well. All right, cool. That'll uh, rejuvenate my four quarters of a, or three quarters of a heart. And we should be good. And we can get an extra pony point. Oh, my days. Are you for real? 
Witness the blood moon's rise. <sighs> when its red glow shines upon the land, the angry spirits of slain monsters return to the flesh. Fighting ones? Who is that? Looks like he's got a sword through his head. Oh my days. Great. Blood Moon oh. exists in this blinking one as well. Alright. Good morning. Did you sleep well? I did until I saw the Blood Moon. As a thanks for lodging with us, we present with you one point. Reward available. Excellent. Oh, oh it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, set a step up to the side counter and read the ledger. Come back anytime. Alright, cool. Uh, receive reward. Hello? Yes, I'll be right with you. Uh, you'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Your reward for three points is a towing harness. Nice. So now we should be able to... Uh, hitch a wagon, yeah. So if I build a wagon, a harness is a type of horse gear that you can attach to various things. For instance, a wagon or an item you'd like to tow somewhere. If you save up, save up just two more points, Ooh. the horse god fabric will be yours. Okay? There's a one-of-a-kind item you can bring to the Hato Village Dye Shop over in Nekula. We appreciate your patronage. Now, here's the big question. And I do need to go to that shrine oh. in a second. Welcome, Link. Do you want a red shirt horse? Take one out for a ride. Customize a horse? Mm. You want to customize something for your horse. Then choose a horse to take out. Oh, <gasps> oh my days! Yes! Oh! It's all my horses from the last game. So you've got Impona, Bluey, Monty, and Turk. Now, Turk is a four-speed horse. You've got four stamina. Uh, Monty only had two. Oh, but they have pull rates. Oh, Bluey is a good average horse. Impona was the very first horse I ever caught. Raven, strength one, speed, pull three. So Turk... I mean, Monty's good for pulling... Strength, speed. I mean, Turk seems to be the best um, one. Okay. Come back anytime. Okay, we're going to go do this shrine uh, because I want to. Oh, I'm so. That is so cool. I've got all my horses from Breath of the Wild. Oh, that is so, so cool. Now, I wonder what happens if I play Breath of the Wild now board another horse there and then come back to to this does that horse show up and can I only have six horses oh that is so cool I, I'm I am genuinely super impressed with the fact that I can use old horses um that is awesome okay building with logs so is this a Uh, nope, try again. Nope, no, there you go. There you go. Now let's grab this one just in case it is. Okie dokie. So. Yeah, I guess I can't go up there, so I need to build a bridge. Two logs will probably do. But we're going to use three. Just in case. Uh, I see what's going to happen. It's 
fine. It's fine. It's all good. <laughs> and again, we're going to take it with us. Should we need anything? Okay. This is my question. Where's that extra chest? There's always an extra chest in the shrine. Uh, so is it up there? I think it's up there, and we're probably going to have to... Go and let's this one. Uh, let's attach it there. Grab it. Uh, can I push it away? Yeah, there we go. Push it over there. Climb up here. Climb up here. Grab that again. And oh, there's extra logs there. Hello. Uh, we are going to... Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, we're going to... Uh, not quite what I wanted to do. Okay. Let's just make this longer then. Maybe it's not up there. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. You know what I am gonna do though? Got this one. We're going to take all these with us, because I have an idea, I have a plan. Believe it or not, I have a plan. It's going to work, it's going to be genius. You're going to love it. But it does require all of these logs, so... I also wonder, is there a limit to how many of these things you can stick together? Like, is it like you get like seven things? Ah! Ooh, okay. Oh, turns out the extra chest is not over there anyway, so it's fine. Nobody panic. Nope, doesn't look like it's over there. Uh, is the chest up there? I don't think so. Nope, so where is the extra chest then? There's always an extra chest. Hmm. There's almost always an extra chest. <laughs> oh, is it there? Is that it? Yeah, there it is. Alright, cool. Uh, in that case... I mean, we've basically already got a raft. It's not what I was going to build, uh, but I mean, I guess I don't really need to do this, do I? Because I kind of have already done it. Um, but I like things to look synchronous. That'll do. Okay. Grab one of these and put it. Uh, can I twist it around? Uh, like there. There we go. And then we grab this one and pop it. Okay, cool. We're good. I 
for real. There we go. Okay. Oh, they're both going to activate. Ha. Huh. I only want one to activate. That's a bit unfortunate. Okay. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, that would be why not. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my days. Uh, and stick, please. Thank you. Uh, do you know? I'm just gonna kind of just leave that there. I'll bring you guys back in when I've got it done because this is gonna take me forever. And there we go guys that's it for that shrine and that is going to be it for me for today i'm sorry this episode went on much longer than planned um but constructing that raft took a lot longer than i thought it was going to take <laughs> but if nothing else we found a shrine right next door to a stable uh, that is always great news because now we know there's a stable we can teleport to and get all that jazz done tomorrow we're going to carry on to hello that looks fascinating. Oh, I think that's where we're going. Uh, yes, that is where we're going. We're going here to these nice little uh, Zonai um, things on the floor. And then we will continue on our adventure and see where our path leads us to. One more shrine and we can get another heart piece or an increase our stamina. We'll pick later on. Nice thunderous clouds there. I'm getting distracted by all this. Ooh, hello. But until then, guys, I have been the Atomic Ninja G. You guys have been awesome. And this has been The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I'll catch you next time, Ninja Clan. Bye!